Joining us now on the phone to dig into these numbers in a first on CBC interview is IAC CEO Joey Levin. Joey, thanks for being with us today. Uh, a lot of focus right now from investors as you move forward with the spinoff of Match on what the company is targeting next. Any sort of insight or color you can give us in terms of what would look attractive uh, as the portfolio shifts? Well, it's, it's not a big reveal, but we uh, I actually was on CNBC about a month ago, and, and we're now uh, hopefully closing the acquisition next week. Care.com is a big one for us. Uh, we, we are buying the company for about $500 million, getting into a big new category, a, probably a $300 billion category, uh, and very relevant to, I think, a pretty wide range of the population, both people interested in senior care as a population ages, the people interested in child care as there's more and more uh, households with two working parents and, and really a need for that, corporations to make sure that they can keep all those people in the workforce, try, uh, offering solutions for their employees. So it's a pretty interesting area. It's a big marketplace. We love marketplaces. We love consumer marketplaces. We love consumer brands like that, big leader. And so we're pretty excited about that opportunity. What's your take, uh, Joey, in terms of the importance of uh, companies to be profitable when, when you're spinning them out? And has your view on that altered given the past year where we, we've seen, of course, a huge focus on, on the balance between top-line growth and, and bottom-line profitability? Look, we, we always focus on cash flow long-term, but that doesn't mean it needs to be cash flow today whether that's a company we're considering spinning, whether it's a company we're considering acquiring. It just means that, that you need to have a very clear path that you can understand where uh, cash flow profitability comes from. Because we don't think about when we're sort of forever owners of, of assets, that's the way we think about it. We don't think about that, that we can disrupt a market and get somebody else to bail us out or you know, the, that we can sell the business or whatever. We think about that business has to generate cash flow. And so in anything we're doing, we're, we're – we're very clearly working towards that path from the earliest stages. Doesn't mean we're, we're profitable at every stage, but it means we're working towards that, and, and that'll matter in, in things we buy or things we spend or, or across the board for us. Uh, Joey, your stock has traded to some degree along with uh, Match for a while. Obviously, that will end as you complete that spinoff. But given the fact that uh, that, that company did have this, this pullback on somewhat disappointing results, is there anything fundamentally you think changing in that market, in the, uh, in the online dating app market that the investors should know about? No, absolutely not. I think Match is in a fantastic place. It's in an amazing market. It's, it's got a global tailwind in terms of people uh, increasingly adapting dating products in more countries and more markets and more cultures. Um, the, the, the relevance of dating products you can see extending kind of very broadly and very universally. I mean, we love this. I don't know if you saw this Dolly Parton meme that, that went all over Instagram and, and Facebook social media recently, but the concept of dating and Tinder and meeting people online is something that just has, I think, enormous runway, and I'm not really focused on, on a, a couple of dollars of revenue in any particular quarter. Joey, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it.